Now I want you to take a good look at your inbox. How many emails do you have in there where you're just trying to find a suitable time to meet with a customer? You know those emails. They start out with, hey, how about 2 p.m. Pacific? And then someone will respond to you saying, no, what about 3 p.m. Eastern? Hi there, it's Adrithi from HubSpot. I know those emails all too well and they make my head spin. I have to figure out time zones. I have to figure out how many people are involved in my meetings. Oh, it just takes forever. But with HubSpot's free CRM, you're able to schedule a meeting with a click of a button. Come, I'll show you how. With HubSpot's free CRM, you have access to a meetings tool. And what's great about the meetings tool is it syncs seamlessly with your calendar. So you're never going to be overbooked if someone books a time with you via that link. Now, the first thing that we're going to do is navigate to the settings icon. And in general, we're going to connect our Google or Office 365 calendar. Now, once it's connected with HubSpot, you're not going to be worrying about anyone overbooking you. After that's done, if you navigate to sales and meetings, here's where you're going to create your meeting link. So let's click create scheduling page. Now we have three types. One-on-one, -on -one, uh, that's the meeting that we're talking about. We just wanna schedule a meeting with one other person. You can also do group meetings. Let's say if you want to have your manager involved in a meeting or round robin. This means you don't care who meets with this person as long as it's someone within your sales team. So let's do one-on-one. -on -one. Now the internal name, that's just the name for me and I'm gonna keep it as consultation meeting. And the event title, I wanna make it as personalized as possible. So I'm gonna make sure to include our contacts first name and a nice little message. I can add my video conference link by connecting Zoom to HubSpot. And I wanna make sure to include my cancel and reschedule links because I get no-showed a lot. So maybe having these rescheduled links right in the invite will help mitigate those cancellations. Now I'm going to head over to scheduling. Now, because we already connected our Google Calendar to HubSpot, I don't have to worry about people overbooking me, but I do still want to set parameters for when people can book me. I want to work Monday through Friday, nine to, you know what? I'm a hard worker. Let's do nine to five, but I'm not going to work on Saturdays. Let's delete that. My time zone is Pacific. There we go. And the great thing about this is even though I set this up for Pacific time, if someone opens this and let's say they're in Eastern time, it'll make sure to match their schedule. If you wanna make sure that you are setting up a time as quickly as possible, I would say they can only access your calendar for this week and next week. When you get into the three week, four week territory, you might have more no-shows. Minimum notice time, yeah. So this is the amount of time that I have before someone can book a meeting with me. So if I'm out to lunch, I wanna make sure I have time to prepare. So let's do four hours. But for time, that's the padding around my meeting. So if one meeting runs late, I'm not gonna be late for my next one. 15 minutes seems good. The start time increment, uh, yeah, 15 minutes. So that means people can book me at 9.15 or 9.30 versus 9.55, that works. Visitors browser settings for both booking page language and date and time format. Looks good to me. And now let's head on over to automation. Confirmation email, definitely want them to be sent. And I also want a pre-meeting reminder. So again, I can mitigate those no-shows. But instead of 30 minutes before, let's do one hour before, and I'll include the invite description in reminder email body. And let's actually look at what the email will look like. Great, I'm gonna close that out and I'm gonna save. Now, what can I do with this email? Well, I can copy the link and I can put it in my email signature. I can use it in those email templates that I send out um, to all of my clients. And I can even embed it in my webpage. So if someone wants to book a meeting with me after looking at my fabulous webpage, they can do so. Cool. So let's actually look at what it looks like. All right, so looks like my calendar isn't too full, but 
That's gonna change once I send this meetings link out. All right, folks, if you're ready to get more meetings booked on your calendar, sign up for our free HubSpot CRM today.